Welcome to MeliSearch. What is MeliSearch? It's an open source, MIT licensed search solution. It's written in Rust, keeping speed and low RAM requirements in mind. It takes about 50 milliseconds to return uh, the hits for your search query, so that's really impressive. MeliSearch provides REST API out of the box, so you can use any of your favorite frameworks to access this server instance. Client libraries are available for Python, Swift, Dart, Java, JavaScript, and so on. You see the list here. One of the nicest features for me is that it supports type ahead search and it tolerates misspellings as well. So that's a great selling point. For those of you who are unaware of this technical term called type ahead search, so think of google.com as you type your search query results show up and they keep refreshing to based on based on what you've typed so far that's 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 an example of type ahead search this allows sorting filtering and geographical queries which is very useful supports multiple languages any language that uses white space to separate words is a good candidate for this search engine. The search instance can be secured using a master API key. The production instances can be self-hosted or hosted using a cloud provider. They support for AWS, Google, uh, cloud platform and so on. And those of you who are again technical in nature, data can be ingested in a variety of formats. JSON, you all know that stands for JavaScript object notation. CSV, comma separated values, and NDJSON. For those of you who don't know what this is, it stands for New Line Delimited JSON. So each row, that is each JSON record, is present in just one line. And instead of using comma as a delimiter, a new line is used as a delimiter. This helps with uh, parsing performance. Here is an example of a JSON document. While it can be present in a single line, here it's written across multiple lines. This is a JSON document, then there is a comma, then there is another JSON document, and so on. Whatever is to the left of the colon is a key, and whatever is present to the right is the value. So this is a typical JSON document that you all know. Here is an example of an ND JSON file. The first thing you'll notice is each row contains the complete record. Since it's new line delimited, there is no comma at the end of a JSON record. We're going to look at a demo of running MeliSearch. I'm going to show you the version using Docker, but if you want to get started, you can use this curl command as well. Just launch MeliSearch using this particular command and you're done. When you're using Docker, which we'll see next, MeliSearch can run in one of two, two modes. One is a development mode and the other one is production mode. If you want to debug and try out MeliSearch using a web interface that is hosted on this address, since this is the host to container port mapping, need to specify the environment flag as development. For those of you who are experimenting with sensitive data, you can pass this flag as well. Welcome to this demo. We'll be using uh, the Linux environment and running MeliSearch within a Docker container. Here is the content of the current directory. There are two JSON files that we're going to use as the data files. And this is the first command that I'm going to execute. This will map the host port 7700 to 7700, the port inside the, the container. Dash E is responsible for defining the environment variable uh, Mali master key. This is required for enforcing security principles. We'll keep it clean from start. For development purpose, you don't need to specify this flag, but we'll specify it anyways. This is the volume mapping. So under the present working directory slash Mali data, the slash metadata directory inside the Docker container is going to get bound. This is the image that's going to be run. 
get melee slash melee search. The version number is 0.30. The environment flag is set to development. There are two values that this environment flag can take. It can be either development or production. When it's set to development, we get to explore a search interface via the web browser. In the case of a production setting, this can't be done. The flag dash i is to capture the input and dash t is to capture the output. Dash dash rm is responsible for removing the container once we stop this particular container. So let's run it. There we go, start it up. Let's now set a host variable that's going to point at the local host instance and look at the address like this. The endpoint slash version is responsible for showing which version of MeliSearch server instance we're running. Turns out it's 0.30.5. It's a good habit to set our host variable ahead of time so that we can keep these commands portable. For those of you wondering why we set the master key, so we're supposed to pass the authorization header with bearer followed by the master key. In the event that we don't, we won't get uh, a proper response. To show you a demo here. There we go. It says that the authorization header is missing. Turning your attention to using MeliSearch via Python library. They've published a library called MeliSearch. You can install it using pip like shown here. I've already done this. So when I prep for the package, I get this as the version number. Let's start using the Python library. Let's create an instance of the client class with the server location and the master key as the two parameters. Is healthy will return a boolean. True if connection can be established properly with the MeliSearch server instance. If not, it will return false. Here you go, it'll return true. Now let's just provide incorrect connection details and ensure that it returns false. All right, now that we're done with that API, let's move on to getting the version. We saw how we were able to use curl to get the version information. Let's now use the get version function, which is going to return a dictionary. From there, we'll call the pkg version key to get the version information. That's about it as far as the basic demo is concerned.